Greetings Multiverse! A bunch of photos from the new Titan show coming to DC Universe has been released onto the internet and we're frankly geeking out about them. We thought it'd be fun to go through all the photos, both to give our opinion on them, but also to analyse them and try to work out exactly what's going on in them. So let's get started with our favourite one, Dick Grayson Robin meets Jason Todd. Yes, that is Jason Todd, not Tim Drake. Both wearing very similar outfits, it's quite hard to tell in the dark. The belts are a little different and obviously he's a lot shorter, but otherwise very similar. This photo is the strongest indicator yet that Dick Grayson will actually become Nightwing by the end of the series. I mean if there's two very similar looking Robins running around, why does he need to be Robin? We'd be very surprised if he would want to keep the title, especially with Jason Todd running around. Frankly this picture is something of a surprise, as we expected Jason Todd to appear as Red Hood. Then of course, timeline wise, it wouldn't make much sense. However, it's funny to think that this is the first live action appearance of Jason Todd in any media. Due to his tragic fate, he tends to get written out of a lot of different versions of the Batman mythos. Batman the Animated Series, for example, went straight from Dick Grayson to Tim Drake. And even the current animated universe, apart from Under the Red Hood, doesn't really make mention of him, with even Tim Drake getting sidelined in favour of Dick Grayson and Damian Wayne. So this photo is very interesting, and we're excited to see what Jason Todd will bring to the series. Also, I'm interested to see what his relationship with Dick Grayson is going to be like. Moving on to the next photo of Raven, something clearly seems to be going on here, the way the wind is catching her hair, and we're wondering if she's beginning to use magic, or even possibly seeing her father. We particularly wanted to focus on the pendant, with its blood red jewel, and we're prepared to bet that's going to be very important. Starfire, and we're not sure what she's seeing here. Once again she's wearing the, let's say, controversial coat and outfit, but we'll see it again later. This version of Starfire clearly isn't the one in the comics, this is a very different interpretation of the character, and we're wondering if she is actually a prostitute or a stripper or some sort of sex worker starting out on the show. It's a weird very grown up version of the character but hopefully we'll see her advance as we go through the series and she meets up with the other characters. Now then this is presumably from a flashback, either that will be the first scene of the series, Dick Grayson and parents and they're about to meet a rather tragic end. Notice how the belt and general costume seem to echo the Robin suit which is a very nice touch. It's also notable that he looks here around the same age as Jason and Todd. But of course this didn't go very well and this is obviously just after they fell and poor Dick Grayson becomes an orphan. We're not sure if the show's going to introduce Tony Zuko or there's going to be any other sort of investigation into how his parents died, but if this scene is here we're wondering if Bruce Wayne is going to be just around the corner. I mean who is this guy in the background being held back by the cops? Could that be Bruce Wayne? He looks rather short and certainly Bruce Wayne hasn't been actually cast on the series, but honestly it'd be weird to not have him. Could Batman be actually turning up? Like Superman in Supergirl, we can't imagine them keeping Batman out of it for too long. It'll be just too weird. Now this here is a scene from the trailer. We just really wanted to include it because it's rather cool. This is the aftermath of Robin's little rampage and he looks quite distressed by it really. There's a lot of commenting on the violence of the trailer when it premiered. Did Robin actually go too far then and was too violent with these guys? And it's now beginning to regret that. That'd be a rather cool angle. Now there are a few photos here about the first meeting between Brendan Thwaites Dick Grayson and Tegan Croft's Raven. Dick Grayson notably in his regular cop outfit, so this may certainly be Bloodhaven rather than Gotham City, but clearly something happens here. Something involving Raven, presumably her losing control of her powers in some way. Moving on to the other side of this photo, you can see a lot of incapacitated cops behind her. Something has clearly happened, and with Dick Grayson walking up very slowly, it looks like he arrived late or too late to stop this. Raven is clearly distressed by what she's done or what's happened, and we're certainly intrigued to see the friendship between Raven and Robin really build from here. Starfire on the other hand looks more than capable of sorting things out herself. We're not sure what happened here, she's always been a competent fighter, so coming at her with a knife was probably not the wisest thing for this man to do. Another shot of Raven here from presumably earlier in the episode. The only reason I'm including it is because it gives a good look at her spiky hood, which is very much in line with her outfit from the comics. As for where she's going on this bus, we have absolutely no idea. Maybe she's already met up with Dick Grayson and she's trying to get away from him to protect him, or maybe this is before that event. We don't know and we'll find out next month. Now, I'm including these guys because I have frankly absolutely no idea who they are. There was another photo of this lady here handing out syringes and this is another angle on it. They seem to be some form of antagonists, maybe even connected with Raven somehow. Note the very 1950s clothing and very old fashioned Monopoly set which juxtaposes wonderfully with the line of syringes she's got in her hands and the frankly creepy smile on the girl's face. We can't wait to find 
out what this is all about, and these guys will turn up later. This is Lindsay Gore as, as new character Amy Rohrbach, and it took us a good while to notice that this man had a screwdriver sticking out of his eye. Presumably this is a friend of Dick Grayson down at the station, and we have absolutely no idea whether it should be a love interest, or whether she'll be investigating the Titans in some way. Who did stick this screwdriver in this man's eye? Could it have been Dick Grayson? Could it have been Raven? Or even Starfire perhaps? I'm certainly interested to see whether Amy is going to be a friend or an antagonist. Ah, Hawk and Dove. Alan Richon as Hank Hall and Minka Kelly as Dawn Granger with a dove. A rather sweet tender moment considering these two are going to be kicking ass a few moments later and we're kind of hoping Hank doesn't crush the life out of that poor bird. But I do like that they got their softer side and they are actually having fun with them. And here's Dawn Granger again, this time with Britain Thwaites Dick Grayson, showing that they do actually team up and know each other. Obviously Dove has quite an important role to play as here she is welcoming in both Dick Grayson and Raven. Here at the Ank on her backpack, which is quite possibly an easter egg for death from Neil Gaiman's Sandman series. And this would presumably be straight after that in the home of both Dawn and Hank with someone knocking on the door. And who is it? It's these creepy folks from earlier on. Who are these people? They're clearly antagonists of some sort, especially with the worried looks from the other cast members earlier. And frankly, they just all look rather creepy. And here we are, Hawk kicking the ever-loving crap out of some criminals with Robin in the background. We'll see more of Robin in a moment and presumably Dove's there as well. Including this here because this is one of the best looks we've seen of Dick Grayson's Robin costume. And it's pretty sweet. It's presumably straight after the last fight scene because that's Hawk in the background interrogating a prisoner. This is the same alleyway so either the criminal that Hawk was interrogating broke out and some more guys showed up or this is straight before that. Either way this guy's not going to have much chance. What are the other three looking at? Why is there only one guy concentrating on Robin and his bow staff? Here we are proof that Dove is actually in on this. You can see Robin's glove and bow staff on the left but frankly we're a little bit concerned about that huge whopping great knife that Dove's got in her hand. She doesn't strike me as a knife fighter so she may be disarming someone but she does look rather cool in this costume. This one's quite interesting not necessarily for Starfire or this is one of the best looks so far at her or her checking out that photo which seems to be the wrong way around suggesting there may be something on the back of the photo of Raven but also who the heck is the guy on the left? He looks like he's been in a fire and most importantly he is not pointing the gun at Starfire. He's actually standing just behind and to the left of Starfire so presumably he's on her side. Has he faced off against Starfire's power? In which case why does he look so injured and not that bothered by it? Or maybe he's completely dead and Starfire just burned him to death and he, for some reason he's still standing up. Guess we'll find out. And to finish this off here's a shot from Entertainment Weekly of all the Titans together and our first shot of Beast Boy in a while. They really seem to have toned down Beast Boy's skin colour so he's not so green as he usually is. I'm personally not sure I like that as I like him being a complete outsider but still if it's their design choice and they know what they're doing I'll be quite happy to see. I don't think this is an actual shot from the show this is probably just a publicity photo but then again most of them do seem to be looking at something in particular. Personally I'm just looking forward to seeing Starfire in her actual proper outfit because I'd hate to think that she's wearing this all through the series. It's funny seeing Dick Grayson as the only costumed crime fighter there. Most of them are just in their normal gear. So that's all the new photos we have of Titans. What do you guys think? Are you more excited for the show after seeing these photos? Are you hoping for another trailer which will show off the show better? Or are you just waiting for October 12th and you're going to get it? We're going to be covering it extensively and I fully plan to do reaction videos for all the episodes. So stay tuned for more. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for everything on Titans and the worlds of DC. Thanks for watching folks. Multiverse out.